Holy Mary, Mother of God. Please. For as long as Theodore Pyle could remember, faith had always come first. I don't want to miss a Sunday as less I can do it. And anything involved in the church, I was always there. As a child growing up in Guyana, she attended Mass regularly. We went to church. We had novenas for before Christmas nine days. And even when she moved away from home... I had made her dress, too. ...and developed oh, other passions. I'm sewing. I'm, I'm sewing. I worked at this designer on 6th Avenue where we made all the evening gowns. When she finally settled in New York in 1975, she found a permanent home in the church. <laughs> specifically at St. Clair Church in Rosedale. It reminded me a lot of at home. Well, this is like when I first went to St. Clair's. Since then, she has been a staple at St. Clair. I look forward to it every Sunday because we had a beautiful choir. And when the church celebrated a milestone anniversary, she realized they had something in common. I never thought of the 100 years until this came up with the 100 years of the church and everything. So everything comes together and I realized, wow, 100 years is a long time. <laughs> It was quite an honor. Theodora has been recognized previously for reaching her 100th birthday, even getting a proclamation from New York City. But something that especially touched the centenarian was when she was given a special shout out at St. Clair's anniversary mass with Brooklyn Bishop Robert Brennan. For as long as Mrs. Pyle has been alive, there's been a St. Clair church. And just like St. Clair has always been there for Theodora, oh, she wants to be there for her parish family. They always see me with my rosary and pray, and I say, I pray for everybody, and you got to pray for others too. In Rosedale, Katie Vasquez, Currents News. Hi, I'm Christine Persichetti, anchor of Currents News. If you like what you saw, please hit the like button on this video. And if you want to see more content just like it, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching because we are putting your faith in the news.